over the years, there has been a large influx of Facebook scams. And people get this over email and get this over private messaging on Facebook. And I just want to show you two examples. Um, first of all, uh, you know, someone posted in, uh, in, in the forum, and I want to show you uh, the email that, that, that she received. And I want to thank Marianne for uh, copy pasting this email for us. So it's like, hello, Marianne. And it, it's in Danish because Marianne's this uh, Facebook um, language is set to Danish. We regret to inform you that recent advertisements on Facebook, though this is important because when you start running ads on Facebook or Instagram, you alert the scammers uh, who are monitoring ads to start sending you a bunch of these. And so uh, you've been direct violation. And of course, everyone gets scared when they see <laughs> somehow they're in violation of, of Facebook policies. Uh, da, 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 da. And so they they, they kind of give you all kinds of possible reasons why it might be. It's so funny. They give you such a long list that you're like, well, maybe one of these <laughs> is true. you know. And so it's like, oh, please follow the, the following steps. And then we look at the link and we let me hover over the link. And I want to show you do you see at the bottom of the screen what the link says? So again, okay, look look, look at the bottom of the screen, what the link, before I click on it. You see it? It says advise-to-report-immedia, da, 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 and then it eventually ends up in .web.app. That is a clear scam. Uh, it doesn't matter what link it is. It must end in facebook.com. So it must be... You know, even if it's like safety measures, you know, dot facebook.com or whatever, that's fine. But if it's safety measures dot facebook.com slash, you know, some other word dot IT or whatever like that, then it's ending in these, it's whatever domain it ends in is the actual domain that you're going to and not facebook.com. So, um, so it's a scam. Uh, let me show you my uh, what I've been getting because I run Facebook, Instagram ads. Look at my Facebook business page inbox. Dear admin, your page is about to be temporarily locked. And then you get a bunch of these different links that we can study. Pagebusinesspolicy.com slash select issues. Right. Uh, business. Look, look at this is all within 24 hours. Look, look at it. And then within 48 hours. This is all I get all day long. I just I just get Facebook scams sending it to me. So I'm I'm so used to it. Uh, whatever. Look at this. Here, here's another one. Help center dash business restricted. Again, what is the link at the, the what is the actual domain? Vercel.app. That's not Facebook.com. Okay. Here's another one. Um meta support center.com. Never heard of it. Okay. And if you ever wonder. Well, that sounds that sounds really official, actually. Meta Support Center. Why wouldn't that be official? Even though it's metasupportcenter.com, maybe that's the real thing. Okay. Well, let's let's go and Google it without the .com. Okay. I'm going to take out the .com and, and Google this. Meta Support Center. Look at it. It's meta.com slash help slash support. Meta.com. It's not metasupportcenter.com. That's a scam. Here's another one. Um, communities, right? Meta dot case number dot 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 com so in this case the dot com dot whatever is not at the end it's here in the beginning https meta case number dot 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 com so again it's not meta dot com it's not facebook dot com i can go on and on but you can you're, you're starting to see what the what the pattern is here um let's see let's see if there's any other examples page support center dot com is that a thing is that is page support center a thing let me let me google this Again, don't don't go to the actual website, but just Google Google the the domain name itself. Support Center Pega Pega is some other company. There's no if if it were a real thing, it would come up right away. It would come up at the first couple of search results. Pega Academy. This is not Facebook or Meta related, right? So anyway, so now you know how this is how you <laughs> spot Facebook scams and do not click. Just ignore them. I I was starting to click. I was starting to go through the trouble of clicking spam for each of these and it never stopped. I've been doing this for months, for more than six months. I've been like dutifully clicking spam, spam, spam. And it, it just doesn't stop. Facebook's system is really broken in terms of filtering spam. 
and they they you know in terms of the even their own inboxes are filled with spam and they can't, they can't do anything about it and number two they have not done a good job of cracking down on the people who are emailing us uh you know and they obviously they can't control email from whoever sends email to you but they really should be doing a better job and they're not so this is the reality that we deal with. Just ignore those emails, ignore those messages and move on and run your Facebook ads and do your Facebook stuff normally. So thank you for asking.